Hello, this is Colin with Maker Farm. This video we're going to do the X Idler on the TiVo Tarantula. To start, you're going to need your tool bag. You're going to need bag B-7, and then you're going to need this acrylic piece. Go ahead and start by peeling off the paper backing from the acrylic piece. Start by sorting out your hardware. I like to divide it all up. You are going to notice that in this packet there's actually two different sizes of these long bolts. There's going to be four of these longer bolts and two of the shorter bolts. So here's the four longer ones you can see and the short ones. We're going to use the long ones right now and we're going to use these to build the Delrin idlers just as we have in the previous videos. So go ahead and put an idler on, two of your lock washers, then a nylon spacer. Repeat this once. Next we're going to build the eccentric spacer. Go ahead and put a Delrin idler on there one lock washer, and then last the eccentric spacer. Then go ahead and repeat this process once. Now go ahead and grab your acrylic piece. First going to install the eccentric spacer wheels so those go in the large hole. Make sure you do put them on the correct side of the acrylic and then go ahead and install a nut to secure them. We will go back and tighten those in later. Now the ones with the nylon washers will go in the smaller hole. After you flip the acrylic piece around, we're going to install those four small M4 bolts. Then flip it around, and we're going to install the T-nuts on there. Now we're going to install the two belt idlers. This will use the slightly shorter big bolts. Now the build guide will tell you um, to use like a nylon spacer or it will tell you to use an M5 bolt. Neither of those are really that good and I'm going to show you why in just a minute here. belt idlers are supposed to align with the ones on the X motor. I'm going to just put these nuts on there, not all the way, not tighten them down, but if you notice when I hold up the X motor to this, they don't align properly with either method. And the one using the nylon spacer, if you tighten it down too much, it will actually wiggle or the belt idler will not move. So I'm going to show you what I like to do. What I like to do is actually go get some M5 washers. You might have to go to your hardware store, but I get four M5 washers. Take two of them, and I'm going to install those on one of the bolts. And then I get the M5 nut and install that and tighten it down. This will give you the proper spacing now to 
to when you put the belt idler on there that it will align properly with the belt idlers on the X motor. Then you can go ahead and put your nylon lock nut on and tighten that up later. Then we're going to do the exact same thing with two M5 washers, which are not included in your kit, on the other belt idler. Then go ahead and tighten down the nylon lock nuts. You do want to make sure that the belt idler will turn freely. If it's too tight, it will not turn. If it's too loose, that belt idler is going to move around quite a lot. Now you can see if I compare that with the ones on the X motor, they actually are properly aligned.